retro trailers are back yay i feel like we always <laughs> say they're back because they've been gone for ages whenever we do a retro yeah. trailer reaction <laughs> janine but we do enjoy doing them yes it's fun to look back at like old trailers and the voiceover guys if they'll have a voiceover guy More did they really not. Yes. And some of these, we actually have seen the movies already and done our episodes on them. So now the the case for these is to see if anything that is in this trailer actually happened in the movie. Yes. Did it sell did. itself honestly and properly? <laughs> yes. Did, uh, does this trailer sell us the movie we got? That we, because yeah. <laughs> we are looking at uh, the trailer for Howard the Duck today 1986 which of course opened our um, morgan hasn't seen fringe marvel movies yes. series that we started um, or this episode came out at the beginning of august um because that's what we like to do with our retro trailer reactions is we will um, react to a trailer of a movie we have covered either on morgan hasn't seen or it's a wonderful podcast the main yeah. show which of course you can find on the It's a Wonderful podcast feed on all major podcast platforms. Not on this YouTube channel. This is our extra stuff that we have here. Yeah. Janine, I just say we uh, get on in and watch yeah. this trailer. I imagine yeah, it's going to be look. as weird <laughs> as the movie Yes, ones. I'm really curious about this one. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Forgive the poor quality. Yeah, it's pretty old. But this is across the sea of stars lies another world. Star a world Trek. almost exactly like <laughs> ours. This is where he lives. He's twenty seven years old, single oh. but searching. Favorite okay. sports, windsurfing, and aikido. Was that Favorite made clear his age? It, I don't remember. Sex. He has Look at the subtle reveal here. Fulfillment. And then one night, it happens. Hey, good buddy, are you home? He has a very sudden <laughs> midlife crisis. Okay. He lands in Cleveland. A midlife crisis in 27? Right? The second midlife. how you got here. Maybe you're here for some greater purpose, some... Cosmic cause. Here, he's forced to reassess his career goals. You? Into med school? His career to goals. new relationships. <laughs> to redefine I, mean, I guess they do get into that a little I'm bit. I'm sorry, we don't allow pets on the premises. To adjust to a changing lifestyle. Oh, I pull it up. Until he discovers just who he really is. Oh, no. A duck in big trouble. That's a duck, man. Is it just me or have <laughs> not even <laughs> shown him yet? No, they have not. Coming they don't show how the dog can trailer. They don't show him the whole Great trailer. Production. I guess they were like outstanding, maybe... incredible. They did not show Howard the Duck in the whole trailer. Did... They, they, they just they, show that... like silhouettes and hands and what? They're that worried about what people. <laughs> I think will so. Think I think they were very model. concerned about what it looked like. It's when they only showed the per poster like the indiana jones poster so we could kind of get an idea maybe but oh my god wow they were really sneaky <laughs> like trying to hide I, mean, I suppose in in a way isn't that a really good trailer i mean in i guess way? i guess i mean they, they decided to show a clip of Leah Thompson's butt um it, you know so, you know it, it, it's the mid 80s so so it's gonna sell you movie it, yeah probably, exactly but yeah i mean do you think that's accurate to the story that we got i mean he i mean there is a lot of him trying to find a job and figure out his career and you know he talks yeah. about how he gave up his music and things like that so i mean i guess that's I, accurate in terms of him like having this crisis of trying to figure out what to do with his life when all of this happens to him so i mean i think that's what a fair that trailer does. summary what that trailer does is make Howard the Duck the movie out to be way more serious than it is. Yeah. 
but I don't but think it was, that's it, necessarily a yeah, bad thing. I mean, while the dialogue was playing into kind of the serious aspects of the story, everything we were seeing on screen was kind of silly stuff. So, yeah. I mean, I guess it's giving you the tone that it's going to be this kind of deeper story, but given to you in this very comical kind yeah. of silly way. Y- you get your stupid sci-fi Tim Robbins making weird faces in the trailer, which yeah. you get for half of the movie. And But the first half of the movie is obviously kind of that grungy, dingy, industrial kind of tone. Yeah. And I feel like y- you maybe get that. You know, it doesn't not feel like a noir trailer at the beginning of that. And no, I mean, and, we see space and all yeah, of that at the beginning. <laughs> but in, ter- in terms of a tone, the, the kind of um, distressed narration of it, the not showing anybody's face, sh- answering machine on the phone and that kind of stuff. Yeah, showing him um, open the fridge and just in silhouette. So I thought, okay, by the end of the trailer, we're going to get a re- big reveal of what howard looks like but the fact that they didn't show him it's either they just were kind of like this is gonna look weird and people are gonna not like this yeah or we're just gonna tease and then you actually have to go to the movie to see what he looks like possibly and then everybody kind of got terrified when they watched the movie i guess (laughs) yeah because i mean even i I think i want to say the cover like the poster is like him just like popping out of an egg so we don't even it is, see yeah. him uh, on the cover yeah yeah weird weird but there we go okay. how are the, how are the docs uh it was kind of surprised they didn't show him <laughs> not the first trailer that was put out for howard the duck but that was the second trailer that was put out that was slightly longer and had slightly more to it okay. which yes is why we chose to uh take a look at that one but does it sell you the movie you get? It, in a way, yes. Yeah. And it, it, in a way, it's actually quite a well put together trailer because it maybe does intrigue you, and then you go and watch the movie and realize that that's oh, why you didn't silly. show this him. Is, this is just insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Rather than, you know, maybe the seriousness, maybe the actual quality that that trailer may have portrayed in a mid-80s sci-fi comedy movie. (laughs) But there we go. There we go for this uh, retro trailer reaction. (laughs) Subscribe with your notification bells up there if you enjoyed this. If you want to see more, there will be plenty more of these coming. You can be sure of that as well as all the other stuff we have here and subscribe to the main podcast feed it's a wonderful podcast on all major podcast platforms patreon links social media links in the description down below janine quack us out please (laughs) um i'm I'm not even gonna attempt a quacking sound no no that would that would be very (laughs) abrasive into the microphone i think three two one. Bye. Bye. Yeah.